Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Surprisingly easy. And there we go, folks. Now, if we hadn't taken that buff out, we wouldn't actually have had the option to give, it, give her the endurance answer. So, just remember that. Oh, well, if that's all, I'll just study this and hope there aren't any more explosions, shall I? I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Now, does she give us a schematic? That Yeah, schematic, bottle cap mine. I don't, I don't very often use those mines, but never mind. Yes, that's what I need your help on. I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. You better do. Uh, here's another one. You can skip if you've got a high enough science this time. But we're not going to do that. We are going to answer, though, with this one. Really? Oh, how convenient! I might just be able to take care of that for you. But first, let me do a little examination. How do you feel? Well, it itches a little. Oh, sure you can, you tough old survivor. Now sit down before you fall down. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Uh, but I'm sure it'll work just as well. Exciting, isn't it? Now, am I going to get the optional okay. completion a there? Almond milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. What? A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> <coughs> you are a strange one. We do have a kind of very strange side effect now, though, from rad regeneration. Now if we've got advanced radiation poisoning, somehow our limbs actually uncripple themselves. Yep, it's looking like it'll be a real tough book for real tough guys. And real tough gals too, of course. Here, for your services. I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Although, I'm... Well... I'm gonna just see if I get the quest update because I'm not sure. See that con that concerns me a little bit because Are I don't know if I got the right did it the right way there. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to go with it because I I'm, I'm not sure if I should have actually gone away, then come back, and then spoke to her, not just handed the radiation quest in straight away. Jump. But I'll go with it for now. No, I... Right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Right, firstly then, we'll do the Mylurk one, I think. Um, yeah, Mylurks. Mylurks are a big threat in some areas, and knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Okay. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. We've been there before, Just folks. go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. 
If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Right, that is exactly what we're going to go do. Try not to die. Now we've been there earlier, and I think I actually mentioned it earlier as well. Now check out this thing, folks. Oh yes! That is literally a double barrel shotgun. God, I love that thing. I love that gun so much now. We've been really lucky in the amount of combat shotguns we're picking up here. Now, because we went to the mile alert lair earlier, we shouldn't have too much of an issue sneaking in. Because if you go in early... Oh wait, am I imagining? Have I not been here yet? No, I haven't been here. Right. Right, okay, I haven't been here yet. I was thinking in my first playthrough, and by first, I mean the one that I scrapped when I got about 10 hours in. I'm such an idiot when it comes to getting things perfect, or in my eyes, perfect. Now for these, this next chapter, I'm actually going to put Dogme and Lucy back in our base. There's a reason for it. Are you two coming here? Or not? Stand out there. Something you need? Wait here, Lucy. Apparently Dogmeat can talk now. I don't know if you saw that. That was part of the actual real-time settler mod. It makes dogs be able to talk. Very, very strange. Anyway, um, stay here, boy. Don't move until I come back. Just drop off all my rubbish. Have I got the lockpick bobblehead? No, I haven't. Did I hear my phone go off then, or did I imagine it? Then where the fuzz is my phone? Hate it when you hear your phone vibrate and you don't know where it is. There it is. Did my phone just go off? Yes, it did. Oh, it was someone from work. Very nice lady from work. Right, all my junk can go in here. Conductors, crutches, leather belts, medical braces, paint gun, pilot light, pressure cookers, rad scorpions, sensor modules, steam guard, surgical tubings, all those. Wonder glue. You know what, I might actually... Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. See, I can make a shish kebab. I forgot to tell you that, folks. That's that flame sword. Or a bottle cap mine. Now, didn't I have an auto fire mechanism? I thought I looted one, but I could have been wrong. Good, got a bit more weight now. Loose it. Whoa. You do that, Lucy. Keep yourself fit. I didn't know she did that when she was idle. Hey there. Very cool, Lucy. You keep yourself healthy. Just what give me you a gun for a minute. In fact, I've got a present for you. There you go, 30 microfusion cells. But just give me a gun for one moment, because I am going to upgrade it. And why has she got two rippers on her? And she hasn't. I hate that bug sometimes, it shows there's two, but there isn't. Now Lucy, I'm going to give your gun a scope. Just because it will upgrade its... Well, it'll just look cool, basically. So that's what it looks like at the moment, folks. 
Well, you never know, it might actually look worse with a scope. Let's have a quick look. It's bad when I'm. It's really quite bad when I'm only upgrading weapons for looks. I think, in fact, I think we've had this conversation before. I don't know how much. Although. It does look quite cool. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this gun is built to have a scope. It doesn't it doesn't look as good as some of the other guns with a scope on. But you never know, I might actually switch to using it in the future. Hmm. You know what? She can have it with the scope on for now. Hey there. What do you need? I wonder if NPCs actually get any use out of scopes. I couldn't tell you if they do or don't. And it does look kind of, in fact, that does look kind of cool. Although looking at that, that gun is like nearly as big as Lucy. Be quiet, dog meat. Right then, you lot are staying here for now. There's a good reason for that. See you soon. The reason, if you're following me, dog mate, are you, he's so thick sometimes. Sometimes he will just nice not stay. So, this is what I want to tell him to do. This is our home. Return here when I tell you, okay? Remember, home is here. Too dangerous here, dog meat. Go wait for me at home. Now he shouldn't follow me now. Yes, now I am the lone wanderer for the time being. Leaving Lucy and the little dog at home. Now to the Anchorage Memorial. The reason I've left it this late to the reason I've left it until this point to leave them behind, sorry, is because, as Moira quite rightly said, we cannot kill any Mylurks. If we kill one, then we cannot get the optional quest part of this done. And you do need to, obviously. So, don't bring anybody with you, if I were you. Now, the Anchorage Memorial is right there. Whoa! Ow! No need for that. Stupid frag mines. You could go in through that door, but there's a very, very quick way to do this quest. Go around this side, and eventually you will come to a big double door that, from what I remember, only requires a very easy lockpick. Should be around this corner. Don't fall in the water, because you can get stuck. Should be here. E yes, it is. I can see it. Very easy lockpick. Trust me, this is the easiest way to get in. Good thing is we've got a fairly good stealth level here. But even so Well you'll see. There are three, from what I remember, Mylurks on this level. I should have actually come here earlier and cleared this place out. See, if you come here earlier and kill everything on this level beforehand, then it's pretty easy because Moira classes you as not actually having anything. It doesn't matter, it doesn't fail the quest if you kill them before you have the quest, if that makes sense. <laughs> 